Okay, question is, in a compact disc player, as the reed head moves out from the center of the disc, the angular speed of the disc changes so that the linear speed at the position of the head remains at a constant value of about 1.3 meters per second. Find the angular speed of the compact disc when the reed head is at R equals 2.0 centimeters and again at R equals 5.6 centimeters. So um, for problems like this where it's uniform circular motion, um, I'm going to give you the equations first and then I'm going to give you a visual as to why this makes sense. So. Uh, we're going to let Vt equal the tangential velocity, also known as the linear speed. Uh, R is going to be the distance from the point on the disk to the axis of rotation. Uh, omega, which is this W looking uh, character here, that's going to be the angular velocity in radians per second. Um, so the relationship is v, uh, v sub t equals rw. In other words, the further a point is or an object is from the axis ro of rotation, uh, the faster it's gonna move, it's the faster its tangential velocity is. Um, so let's just solve for uh, the uh, angular velocity using this equation right here. So when the radius is 2.0 centimeters, we're going to get it 65 radians per second. When the radius, uh, when the radius is 5.6 centimeters, we're going to get 23.2 radians per second. That's just so, that's just basic algebra right there. We're solving for omega. So an old-fashioned part B, uh, an old-fashioned record player rotates at a constant angular speed. So the linear speed of the record groups moving under the detector changes. Find the linear speed of a 45.0 revolutions per minute record at points 2.0 and 5.6 centimeters from the center. So now they're giving you omega. That's the angular speed, constant angular speed. Let's convert it into radians per second. So um, one revolution, which is one trip around the circle, that's two pi radians. So that's how I converted it. And we're going to go back to solving the equation again. This time we're going to solve for the tangential speed. Uh, notice that the one with the larger value of r has the larger tangential speed or li uh, linear speed. Um, so let's get a visual of why this is the case. So here's a little picture uh, of kind of what's going on here. P picture this as a CD and picture these as two points on the CD. So every point when this whole disc rotates, every point that since the angle, every point is going to rotate the angular speed, in other words, omega, is going to be the same for this point, this point, this point, any point on the disk. So the angular displacement is going to be the same. However, if you notice that when you look, when you move further from the, let's say, see, this is R1, 2.0 centimeters, this is R2, 5.6 centimeters. So let's say uh, for the um, just as in the example, this disc is rotating at 3 pi over 2 radians per second, which is about 4.71. So here is where both objects are out at one second. Time equals one second. We started here. One second later, we're here. Um, if you notice, so now we have this ladybug. It started here, and this is the... Arc, it's called the arc length, but that's the distance it traveled in that point of time. And for the beetle, it traveled, I know you, if you could just follow, it traveled this distance right here. Well, as you can see that the beetle did travel a farther distance. And the distance it traveled, that's known as the arc length. So the relationship between 
uh, angle, angular displacement, radius, and arc length is theta equals S over R. In both cases, theta is 3 pi over 2 radians. But when we solve for uh, the arc length, this is an, exactly in agreement with our answer. This, the beetle, at 5.6 centimeters, did travel farther from, than the ladybug. So that could hopefully give you a little visual intuition on why the tangential velocity is greater the farther you get from the point. And so these arrows right here, this is also, um, actually no, it's not the tangential velocity vector, but basically the tangential velocity is like, let's say it's basically, the amount, it's the slope of the tangent line if, if you were to draw like a, the slope on any, every point in the circle. So here the tangential velocity will be like that. Up here it would be like, it'd be pointing in this direction. But in either case, the magnitude is gonna be proportional to the radius. And um, this is a little graph that kind of depicts the picture here from time equals zero to time equals, this is t equals one second. And sure enough, it's about it's about double. The beetle is going about twice as fast, and that makes sense because it's about twice as far from the center of uh, from the axis of rotation. Mm -hmm.